at least I thought it was the end of Germany until I discovered North Frisia. Just the perfect snack for an 800 kilometer trip. <laughs> Of course, that would be for the way back home from the end of Germany to give you a feel-good car brush to compensate for how sad you'll feel at leaving East Frisia. And it's not the end of Germany because the bread is white. As usual, I had a performance the night before in the castle and it was in howling wind and rain. But today, the weather gods realized I needed to show you the chocolate box side of Dornum. Last week, I told you that there are more interesting buildings to see. But before we go to the center of town, let's see the North Sea Resort, Dornum Azeel. I always wish that I could somehow transmit the atmosphere of the North Sea through my videos. The charm is in the pace of life the sounds and the smells, the sea air that makes you sleep like a log, the simplicity of what you do here, like driving along the long roads and cycling, or in my case, walking along the dike paths, the dike paths. It is very important to respect the dike, the dikes along the coast. They protect the land from flooding. to the beach with the local landmark, the Nivea Ball, the Nivea Ball. So it's been a beautiful day and I thought I'd show you how far I've got with the van because when I started to edit the video for hopefully for this Sunday and I saw all the camper vans and vornmobile caravans, motorhomes and then I thought oh I hadn't even thought I would have one soon when I film that and you can see how close they are to the beach and how nice it must be to wake up there in the morning and drink your coffee in the salty sea air at the North Sea. And so that inspired me last night to cut lots of armor flex, the material I'm using to insulate the van and to, oh, and today the weather gods were with me. It was beautiful. So I decided to just come out and put it in what I'd cut last night because I did try to put some in but it was so cold and dark and misty and I do like that weather but more for kind of walking rather than working <laughs> in the cold van. Yeah it's just so much fun and it's a really good balance to standing properly and singing or sitting at the computer and editing videos. The Bürgerverein Dornum, the civic association, has labelled many of the old Frisian buildings here in the streets around the Wasserschloss, the moated castle that is now a school. So, just wandering around, you can know that you're standing in front of the building in which Enno Hector worked who is regarded as the first East Frisian ambassador. I've already told you about the Rathaus, the town hall, which is regarded as one of the most beautiful in East Frisia. And just opposite the Rathaus, you can walk up through these gates to the castle and I thought that's what I'll do so I got up very early to make sure I'd be able to come and film the castle for you but you know what happens when you make plans Hi everyone, I had the bright idea to see if the castle is um, not covered in scaffolding anymore and indeed it is not covered in scaffolding but I'm too short to be able to film it properly for you from this distance. The gates are closed so um, I probably am not allowed to go in and film. Ah, the street lamp just went out because it's sunrise. Another wonderful thing is that I've 
been here at sunrise at the castle, even if I can't show you the images I would have liked to. But just outside of the town, this is the Bockwindmühle, built in 1626, the only windmill of this type still existing in East Frisia and one of the oldest kinds in Europe. The Hausbaum, I think that must be the central part of it, is about 800 years old and the windmill has been restored thanks to a local Verein and it is now a museum. And now I must show you the bakery where I bought that delicious looking bread at the beginning of the video. This white bread is German made and that's why it's absolutely delicious, even without all the wholemeal in it. The last time I bought this bread, I literally ate the whole loaf immediately in the car with nothing on it because it's so good. It's called a Lütje Frise, and I think it means a little Frisian. So, mm, can you smell that? It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> I can only say that if you are ever near enough to drive up to the North Sea, stop for a, a while and go for a long walk along the dike, the dike. not seem as spectacular as say the Alps but I promise you it feels wonderful. People pay to go and sit in a little cabin to have the equivalent of a two-hour walk like the one I've just done because of the health benefits. go home now. I love it where I live but I am so unbelievably lucky that I get to come up to the North Sea as often as I do for work. Lots of love from the end of Germany, this time in Dornum. Bye.